the microphone picks that up. <laughs> hey there, my name's Sam Lamy and I'm a stringed instrument maker. I'm really excited to be here today in Kef Audio's anechoic chamber to record my English violet um, for a particular reason which I need to explain some things first to make sense of. So an English violet is a bowed instrument from the early 1700s. This particular one's got seven strings that I would play on the top with a bow or pizzicato plucked. And it's got 14 sympathetic strings, this extra set of strings that go underneath the fingerboard here. And they're never played or plucked usually, but when they bear a relationship to a note that's played on the top of the instrument, the, the upper set of strings, it gives this church-like inbuilt resonance, which is what I want to capture here today in the anechoic chamber. I've also bought an uh, um, old cheap violin along with me to compare the sound quality, mostly about resonance, um, to compare the two instruments. And one of the Kef Audio team uh, kindly going to explain to us what an anechoic chamber is uh, to uh, understand better why we're doing this today. I'm here today with Alex from Kef Audio and he's going to tell us what's an anechoic chamber. Yeah, sure. So um, we're in the anechoic chamber here at Kef. Um, and an anechoic chamber is a, a special space um, that you don't really find out in nature, um, but it's very useful for the work that we do. Um, so as you can see, and probably hear, um, an anechoic chamber is a very, very dead space. So we cover all the walls, the ceiling and the floor, um, with uh, very large acoustic absorbers. And what this does is it, um, all, all the reflected sound that goes out to the edges of the room gets absorbed. So you get a very pure sound. Uh, for speaker design, it's very useful because we can make measurements in here um, without it being polluted by reflections or the room, um, so we know exactly what a speaker is doing. Um, it's not ideal usually for recording <laughs> <laughs> um, because it, it sounds very strange and unnatural, um, but I guess what you want to do, um, this is the sort of perfect space for it. So a clap in here sounds like this. A clap in here sounds completely different. It sounds more like this. So the reason this is really going to be an interesting instrument to record here is usually when an orchestra or a quartet, for example, record a piece of music, they will do so in a large room usually that gives um, sort of a, a nice reverby quality, such as a church um, in some instances as well, or a cathedral even. And that's the room producing a lot of the resonance versus here it's going to be at 100% the instrument making any reverb that you hear. Um, the room is having zero influence on the instrument here. So we get a more sort of pure instrument sound. And seeing as the main idea of the English violet is the extra sympathetic strings, um, I thought that would be a lovely thing to capture. So hope you'll enjoy.
tinnitus is so loud in this room. of muting the strings.